Let me paint you a picture. It's June 2021. Halo Infinite, after a couple delays, is finally getting ready to be released. And for the first time, we get to see multiplayer gameplay, and it looks juicy. The gameplay looks incredible, the customization is promised to be as deep as it's ever been, and finally, Halo's multiplayer might be what it once was. And now here we are. And this game not having a Slayer playlist at launch isn't the perfect metaphor for this entire game's life cycle. I don't know what is. To this point, I haven't hopped on the whole, you know, Infinite's dead, Fire 343 bandwagon yet. I'm a believer that Halo Infinite hasn't been dead yet. It's certainly been close, but it's not over. But the Season 3 roadmap that they just dropped, that, that might be the final nail in the coffin. And that's what I want to talk about today. I want to go through this roadmap that 343 dropped, and I'm going to go over each specific thing that they say is coming within the next year. I'm going to get my thoughts on all of it, and then I'm going to say what this game needs to do. I mean, must do to retain any sort of player base. And then to wrap it up, I'm going to show an example of an amazing free-to-play game that handles its content drops properly, and that makes Infinite's free-to-play platforms look like trash. And yes, this is going to be a very negative video. I've tried being positive with 343 for a long time. I'm done with that. This game is, at least its content, shit. And what we're getting from developers is shit. We're getting excited from third-party leaks as if this game's coming out in a year. No, this game's been out for a year, and we're still leaking the basic things, hoping that it's going to come and be good. What I'm referring to mostly is the Forge beta that's promised from November 8th to March 7th. I don't know when exactly that's coming. I don't know if that's just like a time frame. What's assume it's coming November 8th, which it needs to. Honestly, November is longer than a lot of us thought it was going to be. And the Forge leaks are the one thing that's giving me hope in Infinite at all. The content that's being put out and shared is, it's incredible, and it shows again that the Halo community will make you content if you let them, you just have to let them. I know a lot of people were saying that they need to put out a beautiful, perfect Forge, you know, and delay it as much as they can. I entirely disagree. If you put it as a beta, and people know it's a beta, release it as soon as possible. Let us work out the bugs, but let us see that this content is coming. Let us play with this. And if it's a beta, we can expect bugs, but I I can't I can't fathom this getting delayed until March. It's like the only thing I'm holding out for in Infinite. The Forge needs to come out as soon as possible with the custom game browser. I see the custom browser here March 7th. That needs to come out with Forge. Now moving on to the 30 tier battle pass. That's free. I, I'm hoping that it's permanent and not just like one of those you can get six tiers this week. Six tiers two weeks from now with the most uninspired game mode you've ever seen. It's just like everything else and we've replaced King of the Hill 47 different times. Yes, give us the free battle pass and let us progress through it however we want to. That's half the reason I'm not doing any of these events. It looks like on that we have like a meal shoulder and stuff like that. I mean, if it has cross core, that's awesome. If not, I don't entirely care. Then we have the campaign network co-op and mission replay. Stupid. Why are we flighting campaign co-op? And worse than that, why do we have to flight mission replay almost a year into this game's life? Dear God, if, if that's not just the most basic element of a single player campaign, just blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I don't get it. Campaign co-op, I'm glad it's coming. Every Halo game that had come out, except for Halo 5, has had functioning campaign and co-op and mission replay at launch. Combat evolved in 2001. What are we doing? You know, like that's like the most basic demand that we would ask for ever is just choosing your mission. I punched my mic stand. I'm sorry. This isn't your fault. Looks like we're getting two new maps. This Detachment and Argyle. Uh, new maps are always good, I suppose. Three maps a year into the life cycle is a little bit crazy. Now, I hope those are both coming November 8th because we need new maps right now. I have not touched Infinite in a very long time because I'm purely sick and tired of the same nine maps with the most boring game modes ever. I mean, like, yeah, they've taken a step in the right direction with the game modes, but we don't have anything fun. Like, get, get on and play Action Sack and MCC. Yeah, Race, Griff Ball, but no, we're playing very, very stale game modes on the same maps for a long time. These maps need to come out now, and we need more than just two in the next year. I hope, I hope we're getting more than just two arena maps. Looks like on March 7th, we're getting another arena map. That's awesome. Three, honestly, and till March is good for infinite. That's actually nice. I, they just need to keep pounding out maps and a new big team battle map. So three maps and a new big team battle map until June 27th. Now until June 27th is a little concerning. I think we should get more than three maps in the next. Oh my God. It's only September, which is why I hope forge comes out with custom game browser. Cause that's going to like, I feel like adding forge in the custom game browser is going to take so much pressure off these developers because they can, they can pick maps from the community, give rewards out for making the best map. There's so much cool stuff you can do with forge that will take pressure off of you guys. Let us make this game for you. I want to do that. Other people do too. I love Halo. I will make content in this game. We're getting the M392 Bandit. That's nice. I would love to see some more Covenant guns added. Things like the Carbine would be sick. So we're getting a new equipment called the Shroud Screen and to be honest, I don't entirely know what that means. It, it looks like maybe there's like bullets ricocheting off it. Maybe I could find something on that really quick. When using the game, the Shroud Screen equipment will create a bubble-like force field that prevents one from seeing inside and from seeing outside. It's non-transparent, but it's fully penetrable and can be used tactically in a variety. So it's basically a smoke grenade that you just stand inside. I think this 
just keep adding equipment. There's a lot of stuff from like Halo 3 that they could bring back, like the gravity lift. I feel like Halo's had a lot of good things in it before, and no one would complain if you brought all that back. Bring back Last Resort. Please bring back Last Resort. And then, yeah, you got your new Tier 100 Battle Pass coming in Season 3. So, I mean, we kind of expected that. Season 2 Battle Pass is actually nice. I think if they opened up cross core progression, it would be a million times better. Yeah, it's Battle Pass. If it's the only form of progression that we're going to have in the game, that will upset me a little bit. And then down below, we have like the smaller updates coming. We're getting Match XP Beta. But wait, I just, I just now realized that says Beta. Match XP Beta. Beta. I'm trying not to be a dick. I'm trying not to be super unbelievably negative, but you have to beta test match XP. I guess my question is going to be, are we going to have a level outside the battle pass or is it just going to go to the battle pass? I don't know why you need to, dude, six years, a ridiculous budget, and we have to test match experience. I'm, I just now learned that this is the beta. I just thought it was coming, but it's a beta. Okay, well, I mean, it's good that it's coming, I guess, but it does flabbergast me that we have to beta test every single basic element that's been an FPS shooter since like 2005. So we're getting this joint fire January update. I mean, these three events are nice, I guess. I kind of don't like how they split it up and like only let you earn so much bringing kind of a eh game mode that you have to play to level it up and then they just bring it back and act like it's something new every single time oh uh, we're getting covert one flag i kind of dig the game modes where we take something that we already have like capture the flag and just play if it you know almost like a custom game sort of thing and it's super easy to make but it's new content and it's something different to play we're getting winter contingency too and honestly the first one was probably my favorite event i really enjoyed the cameras we got in the first one so i'm actually looking forward to that one we're getting quality of life improvements i don't know what that means but make a lot of jokes about it uh custom game browser is supposed to be coming in March 7th to June 27th. Hopefully that's closer to March 7th with Forge coming out. Yeah, no, a uh, custom game browser will make this game. It's a lot of the reason I still play MCC. But the big thing I think too that they need to add is progression with the custom game browser. Uh, let you complete challenges in it. I think the best gameplay design you could ever do is incentivizing every part of your game with XP. Let people play the game however they want and progress. You know, don't make them choose do I want to play with my friends or do I want to progress through the game? That's honestly all I want. I want to be able to play the game however I want. Uh, we're getting a new narrative event. To be totally honest, I don't, I don't fucking care. <laughs> uh, the first one was so lame dude forge beta updates i mean that's good hopefully if it does come out a buggy mess they listen and fix things quickly honestly i don't care if forge is buggy as long as there is a cohesive conversation between developers and players you know as long as they're listening and be like hey we see this we have this you know like if you put out there knowing it's going to be buggy and people go into it with that with the sole intention being hey let's fix this together but you can also try it out don't need to delay it stop trying to fix it yourself clearly you can't do much behind the scenes because we've gotten jack diddly dick we're getting in-game reporting i guess that's good honestly it might just be best in ranked when you have teammates that just show up and either leave or just sit there their entire game so we're getting vip and escalation then too i like vip in halo 3 it was fun and escalation is good in every single game that it's in so yeah that's nice we're getting a new fracture event i'm not gonna lie the word fracture is starting to like elicit some kind of trauma Ties response out of my brain every time I read it because Fracture is pretty much giving us so little, man. It's like the only thing we've gotten and I don't like it. But if people like Fracture, then you have that. So that's the entire roadmap. It's definitely not bad. None of these things are adding people dislike. But like I said, it, it kind of feels like we're preparing for like a launch of a game right now. That's how it feels. A lot of this is very underwhelming in my opinion. You don't get Fire343 trending on Twitter because you put out good content. I want this game to succeed a lot. Like I said, I know I have been uber negative this entire time, but that's that's just because I'm burnt out. I've tried giving 343 ample amount of time, dude. There is just no reason that we shouldn't have more content than what we have, and it's it's almost like spitting in our face at times. Uh, there's a reason I don't upload this game or talk about it a lot, because it genuinely depresses me. And since 343's taken over, I've just wanted a good game, and this felt like the first time we were going to get it. We got Tease and then Shadow. I understand having Forge in beta. That is a huge game mode from what we've seen so far, and if it's anything like we've seen, it's going to be kick-ass. It does piss me off that we're going to wait close to a year to get Mission Replay. That's just... Ugh. That and the no Slayer playlist at launch are just the perfect metaphors for this entire game. We're getting co-op campaign for any friends who haven't played it yet. We get to play it together, I guess. But a lot of people just don't think that this is enough content. Me included, we definitely need to have more maps. We have a shell of a game and it seems impossible for them to fill with anything worthwhile. It feels like they have neglected so many things in this game for so long, but it's like, what's the point? So I want to talk about what they need to do, in my opinion, to fix this game. What they need to add, what they need to do. Starting out with, yeah, the match XP. I talked about this, so I'll be pretty brief about it. You need to incentivize people to play the game in whatever they way they want whatever the way match xp from campaign match xp from custom games from multiplayer not just for a specific mode and incentivize in-game performance that that needs to be a thing i'm sick of playing games and thinking well i did bad doesn't matter 50 xp i did great 50 xp hopefully they add like the little jackpot bonus like they did in reach i think that'd be really fun you could do double xp weekends you could do double jackpot weekends game modes game modes game modes game modes game modes game in my opinion and i think a lot of others is that the best part about halo is stupid game modes stupid fun game modes like griff 
Fall, like Infection, like Race. There is a lack of that. If you want to play Infinite, you have to play Slayer or Objective Modes. There's not a whole lot of just dumb, fun modes. And for some reason, it, it blows my mind that we haven't got Infection. Listen, I, if they're waiting for Halloween or something, that is the lamest payoff ever. We should have that right now. I'm sure if you ask a community to make it in custom games, we would, but we can't. Like, bring Infection in. That is such a huge fan base is Infection. I have been drooling since we got the trailer for this game about Infection. Man, it's my favorite Halo game mode. Armor. Armor customization. Cross score. Turn it on. Does it really make you that much more money? I bet you if you put armor in that you could use in anything, people would buy that shit. I want to be able to use the Elite Skulls on my shoulder with the Master Chief helmets. That'd be awesome. They make really cool armor and then lock it onto a core. And if you don't like that core, you're not going to use it. And colors are just, dude, like, why, why can we use visors? But we can't use colors cross score they put out the visors I'm like that's great give us colors i can only use like four things on noble team they didn't feel like spending money on it pardon me if you're not putting 20 bucks to look like iron man or be gold which i guess they made 10 bucks but still you don't spend money in this game other than the free events there's just no armor to earn we need more free armor mcc does a great thing where they have like really big challenges through the season and when you complete it you get a piece of armor out of that or a cool skin i feel like the events need to be done a lot better i'm really tired of just having an event drip fed to us over time i don't really see the point in that it doesn't really bring back my attention because i just want to be able to earn what i want to earn. Oh, let's update the UI sometimes. I know it's like a small one. You don't really need to do that at this moment. It's not dire, but like refresh the game a little bit sometimes, you know, make it make it look nice. Switch things around. With the match XP, add an actual leveling system and not just the battle pass. You know, like the military ranks in Reach of 3 were fucking awesome. Uh, daily shop would be nice. Any of those things. It would be such a good step in the right direction. You know, give us a progression system, forge, and new maps. You know, stuff to do while you finish what you need to finish on this game. Forge and match XP will hold people over for a long time. There would just be such a better incentive to play the game because right now the reason people are being so impatient is because it feels like there's nothing to do while you're fixing this game we are just getting like little itty bits of content just flicked at us over time while we sit here dying of thirst like they're literally taking water just on the tips of their fingers and flicking it we have nothing to do right now there is nothing to do if you complete the battle pass you're done no campaign there's no purpose to play it there's no armor incentives there's no leveling incentives there's nothing custom games work half the time now i'm going to show you a free-to-play game that i think actually does free-to-play really well it, it, it's it's a bit of a quirky game but i think there's a lot of lessons infinite can learn from it and that game is fall guys now don't click off or dislike yet just give me give me a second here let me at least explain myself i feel like fall guys is the perfect example of what every free-to-play game should strive to be. Every time you log on to Fall Guys, there's something new to do. They're always adding new game modes and new map ideas. For this one, it's just 24-7 Jungle Jumble. Can't believe I said that right. But you got survival squads. They might do low-gravity game modes. The point is, every two or three days, there's always a fun new mode that we really haven't seen yet, for the most part, getting added into the rotation. It's always fun to hop on with your friends and go, hey, let's try this new mode. This looks like fun, while always keeping their core here. You could join and host custom shows. For, for example, Infinite could constantly rotate a new playlist like shock rifle only capture the flag you know fist fight big team battle i mean it sounds stupid but always having a new way to play is a great way to bring people back i'm constantly hopping on fall guys to see what mode they've added because they're normally fun and different we always get daily and weekly challenges that offer us different kinds of rewards whether it's crown shards or kudos you know in-store currency we get our weekly challenges and they usually have seasonal challenges too and every week we get a different kind of free event this week it's a kudos carnival full of different challenges to earn a new kind of pass some weeks it might be a sonic collab and you can earn a bunch of sonic merch just dumb stuff like that there's always a new weekly pass kind of thing going on with a bunch of new game modes i can level up this kudos carnival by playing any kind of show i want it's not limiting how i'm leveling up and there's tons of different ways to do it and there's tons of new modes to play there's so much customization that you can get for free in this game every season we're gonna have a battle pass and then there's a crown pass that rewards you for winning games when you win games you get more crown shards to level up your crown rank that's incentive to play well when you win a game you're hyped to level up this crown pass and then finally i think they do the store really well there's always a feature tab you have your special offers we have our weekly shop here which always has a couple things in it but then we get a daily shop that gets updated as well there's always something to do in fall guys and it incentivizes playing with your friends this is what a free-to-play game should be halo has the opportunity to be a party game like this but they just don't deliver content in a way that makes free to play a viable option as a studio i told you i had a point it's not as stupid as it sounds fall guys is a great example of a free-to-play game fortnite does about the same thing as well that's gonna wrap up today's video i wish i got to play infinite often i wish i wanted to play it i wish i enjoyed uploading it i wish that talking about it didn't give me a headache and ruin my mood for the rest of the day but this is the state that we're in i've had a couple people ask me my opinions on the new season updates or you know where infinite is right now it just has a long road and i don't know if it'll ever be relevant like an apex or a war zone but i mean if they really throw everything at the wall and see what sticks there's a chance that it at least will retain the halo fan base and i hope it does i'm getting to a point though where if this doesn't turn around and infinite flops 343 needs to be done or get the mcc devs and put them on this game because mcc fucks why can't infinite be half as good as mcc
crazy is where are these updates or just 343 needs to figure out their shit you know eh. so that's all for today's video uh i might hop back on this game at some point but i'm definitely just gonna go back to classic halo until something good comes out of this game because i just don't have any desire to play it so uh, yeah see ya